Okay, howdy howdy. Well, it's early. <laughs> early for me anyway. Another experiment in early Cataclysm gameplay. So we've rolled forward about four hours today. See how long I can keep it up. Uh, so, welcome back. This is uh, Vormithrax. Playing some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are playing our Unwilling Mutant. We are going to try to become a Biomancer and Post-Threshold Slime Mutant. I think there are some fun correlations that can be had there if we can manage both. So we'll see how far we make it down the line. Um, the other major thing, we are a Zuiquan Martial Arts Master. So we're still trying to figure out how that thing works. Every time I play it, I forget how it works. Um, but I'll get there. Uh, I know we want to be uh, high dodge, and uh, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, this is Eloy Eel Putnam, and this is our second attempt. I forget now. Uh, third, maybe? I can't remember. Um, it all kind of muddies up after a few thousand hours of Cataclysm. So here's our traits. We've got a pretty good list. Um, some of them we picked at the character gen start so that uh, we would predispose our mutation line to be on the slime track um, and we got a couple of really lucky mutations when we uh, quaffed a standard mutagen and a mutation serum um, most notably we ended up with full night vision oh my god full night vision early early game full night vision <laughs> i can't stress how happy i am to have early game full night vision if genetically unstable downgrades my night vision i am gonna get cranky <laughs> I really, really want to take advantage of this full night vision for a while. It's going to speed things up massively if I can uh, roll around towns at night with full night vision, uh, looting at will, checking vehicles easily, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to we're going to push real hard to try to use that as much as we can here, as quickly as we can before it uh, mutates away from me. So yeah, we got full night vision, poison resistant, that was another new one, saprovore, terrifying, uh, hopefully terrifying will chase away the owlbears. Uh, oh, we got some feathers, I don't remember when we picked up the feathers, but uh, apparently the genetic chaos, or genetically unstable gave me some feathers at some point. The rest of these we pretty much started with, I think I also picked up poor mana regen from the new one. Uh, but yeah, so, 8, 10, 11, 9, hey, there, everything assorted, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime, and Lord Shotgun also, saw you resub there right as we got fired up. Thanks for continuing to watch the ongoing death cycle of Vormithrax and the Cataclysm. <laughs> um, yeah, so there we go, that's the character. Uh, Skill-wise, nothing too impressive, we started with Electronics 4, this was a lab escape scenario, just to make my life easy, because I know the game, I always start with Electronics 4 for Lab Escapes. Uh, just makes things so much simpler. Um, and then we picked up a little bit of Fabrication and Tailoring. We also had some Dodge, 4 Dodge, and Unarmed Combat 4. So that's pretty much what we started with those. Uh, and then we got the rest through the normal means. We're going to focus on that quite a bit. We've got a fairly high intelligence character with no negatives. Uh, I'm not... Uh, not a savant this time around to slow down all my other skills and all that. So we'll, we'll power through that stuff at some point. Um, I'd really like to carry this guy through to some fairly end game stuff. I think he's going to be pretty funny if we can keep him alive and uh, actually get a hold of some Biomancer spells to go along with the post threshold slime mutations with Zuiquan. I think it's going to be hilarious. So we're, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, no, CBMs don't decrease max mana pool current bionic power does so it's not your max bionic power so if you have a thousand mana and you have a hundred current bionic power then you only have 900 mana to work with even if your max bionic power is 10,000 it only subtracts whatever your current power level is so you can have a massive pool available uh from total but as long as you keep the amount you have to a small smallish number You'll be able to manage the uh, the downside to it uh, removing your mana. So, pretty cool feature. I think it's got a shatter run, something like that, and uh, how it's handled. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so we still got a lot of stuff. Still getting the rotten, rotten butchered bug? Um, no, I haven't had that in forever. Let's see. Howdy, howdy, everybody that's piling in now. 
Yeah, there are some CBMs that would still be good. Integrated tool sets, one, titanium bracing, the stat enhancers. There's a number of them that have use that don't require much in the way of bionic power. Just don't pick something like time dilation where you need <laughs> massive pools of power in order to make it useful. Um, but there's quite a few, and I think I actually picked up some. What, what did I pick up? Oh yeah, we got adjustive system, which may or may not be broke. Is that the one that's broke? I think that's the one that well, portions of it might be broke. Um, maybe. We'll see. But we got the integrated tool set. We got wired reflexes. So we got several of them that I'd be pretty interested to actually uh, get installed if we get the opportunity. <clears throat> um, I have not updated my, my build from Monday's stream. So most of the builds have failed <laughs> over the last day. So we were on 55, only 56 and 57 went in, and I didn't see anything too interesting in that group. Every other thing has failed or is in progress currently. Uh, so I didn't upgrade. There was, there was nothing to upgrade to, essentially, that would have been any kind of a use. So we're still sitting on the same uh, build level we were running on Monday. Uh, so yeah, so here's our current carry gear. Uh, we have escaped the lab, as usual. I don't usually have too many problems escaping the lab, but... Um, yeah, we checked out the garage, we cleared out the local area by dragging them back and introducing the zombies to the dissectors that are on the top floor of the lab here. That's always fun to have a few of those available. Uh, we cleared the house in the rural area there, and we did wander our way over to Lewiston. We successfully climbed the apartment tower, got to the roof, and uh, took a good look around. That's why we have this visual area. Um, so, we spotted another town off to the east. It might be the start of one down to the southeast. And we don't have much in the way of interesting things in this town other than the houses. Um, and possible vehicles. So, I do plan to make a run over here right now. Uh, we, we slept, we just woke up, we were just about ready to get moving when I decided 11 hours was enough for me, uh, on Monday. So, our 10 hours? Yeah, 10 hours. I went 10 hours on Monday. Um... So we were just Britain prepped when I finally called it quits, and uh, that's where we're at right now. So I do plan on coming over this way. We'll check as many things out as we can. Um, I'm primarily focused on houses and on vehicles. Uh, if we can get a vehicle going early, that'll give us a lot better mobility, as always. You guys know the routine. We've also got a garage down here. We already have a full welder, so that's going to simplify things quite a bit. Um, so we'll see what else we can pick up, but there's not a whole bunch else that I'm too interested in this town, but we'll visit whatever's available to us. With a full night vision, should be a pretty easy trip. Um, we'll easily be able to see everything coming, barring an extremely rare shady zombie, but uh, day four, I don't expect many of those to be around either. <clears throat> More potions will be in soon. All right. I haven't seen too many potions yet, only a couple of magic items, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. But uh, one of the things I am looking for in the uh, the homes is the magic basement. So there is a new basement type specifically for the magicalism uh, mod, and so hopefully we run into a magic basement. But uh, my biggest desire is to pick up uh, a vehicle. I always, always, always want to get a vehicle as quickly as possible. It just opens up so many options and safety features and so on so we'll see what happens um uh quest lines would uh, necessitate me actually having npcs <laughs> they're getting there i'll fiddle with them at some point but uh yeah no npcs at the moment Alright, uh, let's get our gear figured out here, and then we'll get moving. So, we'll dump the books we were reading before we slept. Um, keep all of those, keep all of this gear. We're down a wrench. Wrench is the only tool we have remaining that we need to pick up still. Um, we got the one backpack and the duffel bag for backup storage. Not taking any weapons. I'm not planning on fighting anything, and we can just uh, stare at things. We can leer at things and make them explode. So who needs weapons when you have the power of the leer? Yeah, I think we're just gonna get something to eat and we'll take off. Let's have uh, oh, some biscuits and man, I really don't have much. 
Everything's frozen still. I still don't know why it's freezing down in the lab. Short of it was frozen when I brought it down and it just hasn't defrosted yet. <laughs> it's telling me it's very cold. I don't have a dive watch yet to know the actual temperature down here. Um, we have very little gear, very little uh, protection factor, but we're going to rely on our Zuiquan and our dodging and our moving to uh, keep us out of trouble. Uh, you may be seeing a magnification of the limbs that are damaged being more susceptible to temperature. I've had a couple of people mention or report that uh, temperature is being a little wonky. So just know that if you have a body part that has uh, taken damage, it is going to feel effects cold and heat more than uh, a, a, a full strength limb. So be really careful when you see any of your body parts taking a lot of damage, especially if they're right on the bare edge of going broken. Um, because you can, without noticing the temperature differential that has all of a sudden kicked in uh, because of their damage status, um, if you're not careful, you can actually end up breaking a limb by it being too cold. <laughs> so that's not fun. Um, so really, really bulk up the warmth on any limbs that you see that are uh, pretty damaged if you're not in a controlled environment. All right. Uh, wait just a few minutes. I gotta go hunt that guy down. Getting tired of him. What's my weight? Normal. Um. Yeah, I need to uh, wait. Didn't I bring back just a massive pile of food from that uh, that apartment? <laughs> I, I looted like just the top floor, and we had more food than we can carry. Maybe it's all frozen. I think that's what's going on. All right, let's let's start a fire. Let's use the pots. What are you showing me here? Um, <clears throat> yeah, that, that looks like the stuff I brought back. So it must have been frozen when I brought it down and it hasn't defrosted yet. It's mostly cans and boxes of stuff. So I can use it to cook with, but I don't have any cooking skill at the moment. Let's unfreeze. Oh, a BLT. All right, full and hydrated. That'll work. So hit points are good. Stats are good. Food and water are good. No negative effects to worry about. We got our gear slimmed down with the single backpack on. We're at 6.6 .6 dodge. All right. I've also forgot this layout of this uh, <laughs> this laboratory. That's why I still mark things of interest. Because um, I'm always forgetting the layouts. Because of the, uh, the breaks I take in between each stream. And the amount of gameplay I have. It's just hard for me to keep it in my head for any length of time. Uh, let's take off though. I think, I think we're good. I don't want to spend too much more time in here. We're, we're burning my full night vision. My glorious, glorious full night vision. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, nope, 12, 12 spaces, love it. That gives us a nice fat bumper of opportunity to spot things. Do we ride our bike into town? Yeah, let's ride our bike into town, what, what the heck. Oops. Alright. Now I'm, you're confusing me, I'm saying you take control of the bike. Oh, now it's going. I'm not sure why it didn't do it the first two times. <clears throat> All right, this way. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. This way we have a basket we can throw some things into. I'll leave it on the outside edge of town, and we may use it as a dumping point. All right, what's what's my temperature looking like now? Yeah, now we're a little cold. Um, I didn't consider that. All right, without wind chill. What are we looking at? Cold hands. Um, really cold hands. All right, we need we need to deal. We need to deal with that. I can't go out with that much cold in my hands. <clears throat> so let's take care of that before we take off. Forgot the entrance is not where the road goes. Uh, 
Alright. I have any gloves nearby? Oops. Did I spell it right? No gloves nearby. Nope, not a one. Alright, what can I make with my tailoring of two? Armor, hands, give me glove liners. And give, oops, give me light gloves. Eh. Ah, that should take care of enough of the uh, temperature that will be okay. <laughs> it's weird. I'm having to do it three times because it's it's taking control and then immediately letting go. I'm not sure if that's a function of some broken parts or what. Ooh, driving skill of one. Riding my bike is leveling my driving skill and draining my focus. I'm so excited. Hey, driving skill. Let's turn you off even earlier than I normally do. Screw you. I drive like a grandma. Anyway. Um, damn, damn, snow flurries cut off my night vision some. Alright, so we're doing... 16. There we go. That's the... Oh, never mind. No, I can't do 16. Drain stamina too much. We'll just putter along at 8. Safe mode on. Alright, long straight away. Do 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 do. -do. Almost three o'clock already. All right, we'll leave it right here at this bend in the road. Oop! Hey there, tough zombie. <laughs> we won't leave it right here at this particular bend in the road. We'll leave it a little further north. Uh, no. Wait till the damn thing stops. All right, so... Good condition. Everything's under control temperature wise. Yeah, get moving. Alright, I've already seen the vehicles right out front here. I have no uh, movement enhancers, no rollerblades or anything yet. Alright, this is what? Private park. I don't think I've been in a private park before. Not gonna worry about the private park right now. Alright, um Yeah, it's just this house. Soldier zombie. Love to kill a soldier zombie, but no, not right now. <laughs> Winter gloves! <laughs> Why, thank you, game. <laughs> Already took care of that problem, but appreciate you looking out for me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab them. Don't care about that. Don't need a hat. We have stairs. Can I get a magic basement on my first try? No, we get a pop basement. There's my night vision. That's what I want. Alright, nothing I'm going to worry about in there. Alright, so finished up. Let's go out and across the streets. First aid kit, nothing hiding in the bathtub. Hey there, zombie.
Mm. No thanks. The launcher's book? Nope, oh, submachine. Alright, this house is done. Oh, slavering biter on day four. That's not friendly. That's not even a little bit friendly. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that kind of was a magic basement, but not not quite the right style of magic basement. Slavering biter, though. Oh, he's on my trail. Look at that guy. He's got a nose on him. He went from down here. Straight up north, hit my trail, and is now going to roll right down to me. Oh, look at that dude. <laughs> All right, we got to do something about him. I learned my lesson about slavering biters and leaving them in my back trail. What do we got left here? Craft shop, public space I don't care about. Cemetery is fairly useless. We'll hit that group of housing later. I think I'll go to this craft shop, then we'll work our way down the street, then come back. Probably down this way, something like that. So, work our way back across. Oh, they are messing with the craft shop, are they? That's not good. Vehicle! Mm, maybe, but such a small amount. Oh, that's right, I can't check the vehicle condition. <laughs> that's... That annoys me. Um, EPC. Hey there, bunny rabbit. What are you doing hanging around all these nasty, smelly zombies? Zombie dogs on my trail. There's a lot of diesel. No, no, uh, ammo for the, excuse me, for the browning, unfortunately. Hmm drivable nope no controls not drivable all right let's go run mode for a moment back to walk mode hoping to get a look into that craft store but man they're just they're all over that place you can usually pick up a tool or two in there Alright, uh, bar or restaurant? Restaurant. Mm, I've already got a pot. I do need food, but not desperately. I see a French coat or something over there. Fruit pies. We'll take fruit pies. What is that? Poor fit trench coat. Now nah, I've got a few. Oh, dog's still coming. Uh, I didn't get a wrap around into the kitchen area there. Yeah, let's not go there. And the house next door also sounds chock full of zombie fun. <laughs> yeah, of course. They're all hanging out near the uh, the basement. Hmm. Let's do this. Hey zombies, I'm over here. Man, you, you moved a lot faster than I thought you would. Alright, you we might have to do something about. How are you doing already? Moderately in Heavily in. Right, let's keep moving. Now that wasn't friendly. Run mode. Check out the basement. Ah, it's an auto dock basement. Let you guys spend a little bit of time banging down a door. Nope, no auto dock. Mm 
Ah, sewer snake. Oh, I didn't notice the sewer snake. Damn, sewer snake actually got a bite on me. At least it didn't poison me. Alright. Uh... Love the fact that you don't get the proximity warning when you're waiting. Just sitting there minding your own business. And you still don't get a warning. Um... Go ahead and do that. Back to walk mode. Back to run mode. Back to walk mode. And we're out of here. Alright. Another house down. 315. Stamina back. Lots of basements to choose from. Fortunately, not any of the fun ones. Not even sure. Oops. Right, what did I hit? Alright, game. What, what did I touch that's causing that? Oh, I shifted the position. There we go. <laughs> Mystery solved. Yep, little car hiding in the corner. No, uh, eh, no wheels. Can't do anything with that. Box zombie down the way. Tram it all. Tram it all. Scrapyard, and we gotta uh, work our way southeast. I want to get their attention if I can avoid it. It really is a scrapyard. Hmm. Can't afford to disassemble any of that stuff. We're just going to relocate. Let's head down to the next block. Um, let's do the garage first. It's the office, I think. That's the garage. I hate this garage design. Foo! Fooey on you! It's not the garage. That is a weird looking house. Hmm. Partial built car, don't care. I almost never get anything useful out of here. Should probably pick up some bifocals just in case my vision does change at some point. <laughs> Alright, what you got for me? I see. Oh, is that a repair kit? Basic repair kit, cool. Chiseling, hammering, fine hammering, prying, welding tanks. More welding tanks, acetylene torch. A polisher with battery, pliers. Well, that's not a wrench, but it gets me one level of bolt turning. Bottle jack, welding and metallurgy. 
Alright, unfortunately it's duffel bag time. That means my ability to dodge is going to go really, really, really low. Lots of bottle jacks. Air jacks. Alright, well, that's it. Hmm. Not going to worry about any of that stuff. I think I already have goggles, but we'll grab that. We'll unload the polisher. We'll grab the book. Unload another polisher. much weight. All right. That gives me all the metalworking welding material I need probably for quite a while. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother marking anything in here. What do we got upstairs? More stuff. Filter. Engine. Another aerojack. And machinery for parts. Alright, what are we at? Plenty of volume. 38 pounds still, so we're still good. 330. This weird house. Um, I don't remember this house design. Eighth window. Hmm. There's a back door. I think it's also broke. All right, let's. Um, how much noise we make when we crowbar our way in? Nine. Oh, hello there. Please tell me there's no landmines in this place. That would suck. Display case with an HK 416A5. Excuse me? Holy crap. Army jacket, army pants, combat boots. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh yeah. We'll uh we'll smash that. Eighteen out of thirty rounds even. Quite the deal. Only two armor piercing, 42 damage. Semi and full auto. It'll do. Gets me some options. This is, I'm also interested in. Um, let's see. We need the combat boots, the elbow pads, and the fitted army jacket. Go with what I have until we see if there's more stuff that I need to drop. I think I have seen this from this backside before. Body bag and a human corpse. <laughs> Lovely. And more human corpses. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Interesting. Ah. Empty property. Oh, 
No basement. Basement. Don't care about anything in here. Binoculars! Oh crap, now we gotta go to the top of that tower again. <laughs> uh, that makes my life a lot easier too. Come on, basements, give me something useful. Another possible auto dock basement. No auto dock. Bad zombies. Had a pretty good number of basements considering the small number of houses. Just no real good ones yet. Zombies in the house with me. Moose! Uh oh. That's probably an angry moose at this point. Yeah, that's gonna be an angry moose. <laughs> um, I might have to leave this one alone. He's gonna smell me. Oh, there's a Kevlar zombie in here too. Little early game upgrades. Alright, let's let's walk out. Could go around. Let's do that. Let's let's go around to the far side. Peek in the other window. Soldier zombie in there too. Nothing I see that I care about there. Same thing here. So, bathroom's the only thing I haven't really looked at. And they got windows in their bathroom. <laughs> so, no need to go in that house. Kitchen? No, not interested. There's the... Uh-oh. Stay away from me, Moose. I am terrifying. You don't want to mess with me. Go play with some more zombies. Alright, so that whole row is done. Um, I think I'll go here, and then we'll angle up, and we'll hit the end of the town here. And then, unfortunately, we're kind of done. We'll hit the... I can't do the apartment tower until daylight. Technically, I guess I could hang out until light, and then take off in the morning. Probably wouldn't be too hard to escape. So... Let's hit this corner house here. Ah, uh, this one. Um, I'd love to do um, bows nowadays. Reach and ranged attacks are the new, well, not really new. They've devolved back into being super important. But until they finish the bow uh, upgrades or changes, I just hesitate to bother. 
I've been kind of left in a lackluster state mid upgrade. Burrito! I think that's fish. <laughs> A guitar. Uh, window? Yes, window. Mm, of course the children are guarding the basement. Hmm. Another wreck basement. Hey there, Mr. Grabber. Phone book. Leather pants I would grab normally, but I'm not going to have problems with leather this run. Wow, muscular zombie child took a door down. Alright, now I got runners and stuff coming after me. My dodge is probably, yeah. I can't rely on my dodge anymore. Fancy house. Flotation vest? Flotation vest. <laughs> Survivor's note that says, I have a bicycle mounted tank cannon. Your argument is invalid. Alright. I agree. Hmm. Nearly empty house. Lovely. Maybe. Can't check it without turning the light on. Nah, I'm not having a liquid storage problem at this point. Duplex, blah, duplex. And let's go out the back. Hmm. Security systems working, no wheels. Oops, I didn't hit that last one right there. Leave me alone, you sniffing zombie. Uh-oh, gunsmith basement. Hmm. There could be some bad stuff in here. No, just the one. Alright. Uh, also, not much in the way of guns. Sten with a little bit of reload. Yeah, it's almost nothing. That's a pretty light one. I have no mechanic skill with which to try to pick that safe. Hmm. What do we got left? Just these two houses, and then I'm pretty much out of here. I've still got lots of space. I right, guess we'll grab stuff. Mm, no thanks. 
six. <laughs> That's really bad that the way command isn't warning anybody. <laughs> That's just really bad. Uh, that might be my biggest pet peeve right now. Try to wait to catch your breath, and apparently you like to squeeze your eyes shut and plug your ears while you do it. <laughs> and zombies just get to walk right up on you and have their way with you. Uh-oh. House with an attached garage. Do we have a pristine vehicle? Man, would that be nice. Mm, sure. Yay, under the hood. Always like to find that. Good old BB gun. I can practice my uh, my rifle skill. Sure. Oops, that puts us overweight, does it? I might have to rethink that one. Big battery. All right, come on. Pristine SUV. That's what I want. Oh, fitted army pants to go with my fitted army jacket. Sure. What else? Mm, I should probably pick up some spares, but our maneuverability is so good, I'm not going to be overly concerned about it. All right, garage. Damn it! No vehicle. I already have an exacto. No tools. Don't care about the contents of a bar. Yeah, we're pretty much done. We're very slightly overweight. Five pounds. I might have to change that. If we get out of, out of the area safely, I'm still not seeing any vehicles worth uh, taking a look at. Ah, crap. That runner's uh, getting my scent. No, he did not. Cool. Ah, slavering biter again. <laughs> So, 4 a.m., that's another consideration. Do I just wait out the dawn? I think I'm going to. I'm going to dump some gear into the basket of the uh, bike we left up here. I'm going to come back to the apartment tower. We'll go back up to the roof. Then we will, uh, there's a few zombies up there. I'll lure them downstairs or something, but um, if they even detect me. And uh, we'll spend the rest of the night just waiting and then we'll run out during the daylight. Slavering Biter is the only thing that I'm worried about during the daylight hours. Everything else I should be able to negotiate my way past without too much difficulty. Alright, so... Uh, leave those. Probably enough. 14 out of 20. All right, puts me well below. I could even drop the duffel bag, which would be really good. 18, 19 out of 20. Um, yeah, leave the duffel bag right there. We'll throw it on right before we take off again. Not planning on looting anything.
Yeah, let's leave it like that. Alright, heading back in. Stairs I need are on the back side. <laughs> French coat. Fireman's. Mildly rude. Let me hear you guys. Oh, no, don't go wandering back upstairs. Damn it, he lost track of me. <laughs> Come on, dive out a window or something. Do something useful. Should be far enough. <laughs> All right, you guys, you little tag team bastards, get out of my way! <laughs> I'm getting kind of irritating. Here, let me make it a little easier for you. I'm over here. There were a few others, but I think I can avoid them, lose the trail, hang out over here. Yep, all right, we're good. Temperature is fine. We're just going to wait out to uh, wait the dawn out so we get a better uh, magnified view around us. So, set the alarm two hours and yeah, two hours. You finish waiting and feel refreshed. You set your alarm. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Change your alarm. Cancel. Wait a while. Did the wrong option. Hey, I got one. I got notified that time because I spotted him. So, sun's starting to come up. Is it? There we go. That's what I was looking for. That is quite the circle. We're standing on the roof of an apartment tower with a pair of binoculars, so we have extended our view range magnificently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. Uh, hub. I don't care about that. So we learned nothing new up north. South of our garage was just a motel. Um, field campsite. Oh, look, an acid ant hill on the other side of the river. Lovely. So Stratford is likely to have some acid ants. That's close enough. They might be over there. Um, Dennis Town, the town of Dennis. Bookstore right on the nameplate, of course. Another apartment tower right on the edge of town. That is awesome. That'll give me a huge view radius out that direction, so that's good to see. Houses, eh, fine. Um, railroad for some free food. LMOE shelter hiding in the swamp. Those are actually pretty good now. Infinite meat from the uh, beehive nearby. And Kennebunk. Either Kennebunk. Let's... Um, Toggle off hordes for a second so I can actually see what the hell's in Kennebunk. No magic buildings, unfortunately. No recycle centers. Just the one bookstore down there. No library so far. 
No schools so far. Hmm. Not good, not good. I got, uh, I don't see much in the way of useful places to visit in Kennebunk here, which is kind of disappointing. Hmm. Construction site I already knew about. Possibility there is a pristine condition constructor or the excavator <laughs> that I can drive around in. Gun store supposedly has wands. Never seen it. I'm not sure if they changed that with the other additions that have been added in. Alright, but at least it opens up. There's more towns and some open areas that I can drive around. Assuming I can get a vehicle that works. And we didn't get any further view out to the west. Okay, good news. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Just you up here now, Mr. Fat Zombie. <laughs> Zombie Child falls down a level. Yep, I bet. Zombie Child just fell down like five levels. Hey, Zombie Child, you're falling down a level also. <laughs> we're, we're chasing a Zombie Child as it plummets to the earth. <laughs> and it's still sitting there. Didn't even die. That's kind of hilarious. Downed. Nearly dead. It just survived like a five, six-story fall. <laughs> Pretty sure I wouldn't survive that fall. All right. Who's in the hallway with me? Earn the stamina, or go out north like last time into the woods. Let's let's peek north. Cop zombie waiting for me. That's fine. Rather to go around a cop zombie than that other crowd. Load into the back of that. Oh, he went around. Good job. Followed my scent trail around the truck instead of into the vehicle. 